Which lock of his is that? I, I don't know actually. <laughs> I wish I did. I, the one that comes with the Southern Mountain kit. Nice. It's quick. back out. The ideal way to do it, keep your hand back here. Okay. Trick here is straight down. See that, that way it falls straight out. Right. And if, if you grab it here and tip it to lift it out, it'll print along the top edge. Right. And give you a false reading. So you take the very tip of the barrel and let it fall right out. And hold it. Yeah, you just bottom here. Let's see. You see that little step right there and just, just a little scraping with the chisels will get the job done and you're there. I mean it's that close. Okay. It might scrape a little bit where it's black but that's about it. Scrape a little where it's black? Yeah just a little bit and then we're ready to put the plug in and fit it. Okay. Okay, uh, let's grab it in the wrist. Okay. Grab it in the wrist. Oh. Like so? Yeah. That's all we need. Lift it straight out. Okay. You got a little bit of marking right here. Uh huh. That's about all you need. Well, that sounds good. That's, uh, yeah, you're ready to go. Well, that'll never do. Oh. Pop that out again. That would have never went in there with a piece of leather in there, too. It's already tight enough. take off the back of this all, right, all, of, a sudden, back. all of a sudden it's not going to fit anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, You've got just a touch further to go. Does it have to be perfect? Yep. Thank you for your help. Oh, hey, that's what I'm here for. Feel all right, honey. You feel one side of that bridge plug's high and the other's low. I do feel that. When we get all the way in there, it's, it's nice and flush. Yep. Okay. okay. Thank you for your help. And you don't want to do is get in where you have your I got some Feels flush. Does that line, line up to your eyes? It does mine. Yes. Mind. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we're fitted uh, here, put it in the shot. Yeah, look nice and uh, tight. Now you're going to want to find your barrel lugs, and you're going to go ahead and put the barrel lugs in here. All right. I all right. Thank you. And that's also where you just need to file a little bit, make them flush if you have to. Is that right? Right. Okay. Uh, we're going to paint this barrel up a little bit here. Much more 
Well, that's good. Look how good we are. Uh, it's, I, I think it's my skill mm -hmm. of looking at it, well, your skill of, of setting it. Obviously, you had that inlet cut so well before we put this in here, it fit perfectly. Yeah. So, we know that fits. Uh, you don't have barrel lugs on the bottom of the barrel nope, yet. yet. Yep. Okay, Wayne, show you how to take, out, take barrels on stock? Yeah. Put it upside down. And yep, little tap. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you'll want to uh, just leave that there for now. Okay. Find your barrel lock. Yep. Are they all the same, do you think? Or? Yep, they're all the same. Should be. I'm just showing you how to do one. Now look here. See how long that took? Didn't take that long at all. All right, all right. Just to make sure it's cleaned out, huh? Just to make sure everything's the way it's supposed to be. You're good. Pull it out. Ooh, this one's got a little. It's all right. You're buying it. Freehand. Just... Okay, now you got pin stock. That's how thick it needs to be to outside to outside. Just cut it in there. And what I want you to do is hook that little sander up over there okay. and grind the, the tips round. I'll go at you. Okay. You've got a jagged edge. When you push it through, it's going to push wood out. Okay. One at a time. You've got to make four pins. I'm really surprised though to how the fit on these things is. Oh, it's, it's almost cheating, isn't it? It's incredible. I mean, it, the first one of these I ever put together was like, come on, they can't be this easy. Uh, investment, well, investment he's made in that CNC machinery. Yeah, it was well worth the effort, wasn't it? You know, uh, the second one I put of these, put uh, this I, a colonial together here, oh, about a month ago, maybe a little more. Yeah. And I was working in my shop by myself, and I, I got the whole thing put together in four hours. Yeah. When we get uh, when we're ready to, we'll just file this down flush sure. with wood. Okay, so we solved that problem of what to do next. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Not a single bit of uh, work done there. That'd be a pain in the butt to do by hand. Tell me about it. Those don't even line up. So, so the things like this needs to go forward. And what what I want you to do is after you get them started, is that lick right there. And you're a little proud up here. You look a little proud up here. We might talk to Mike about that. Uh, we may, I just don't know how much of this we're going to be able to take down. We may have to actually take some metal off for them. All right. How are you doing, man? Yeah. How's it going? So far, so good. First gun, so my expectation is just getting you know, yeah. not perfection. Get it shooting. Shooting. Oh, good. Good. You see how I did that? Yeah, you started this in here and just kind of walked it in. Now, this part here, when you're gun making, this is the one that, that eats your lunch for you. Okay. Um, I've done a, I've done 150 guns, 
And on a good day, I can get one of these in in an hour and a half. A beginner take two days. That'd be neat. Well, I mean, it's what's yeah. what's up. So you're ready to drill it. I mean, it fits perfectly. That's the best, that's the most interesting piece of engineering on this kit that I've ever seen. Mm. Is just getting that damn thing right there perfect. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You can get with a machine, I'll tell you that. Well, that isn't as bad. See, uh, see the way these screws look like they're going like yeah. that? I would say that uh, we keep moving it forward. See, we've got no gap here at all. Yeah, right. So we'll let's move let's, forward a little bit more. Yeah. So that's going to be a combination of here and here then, right? Yeah, you'll have to look at not on the top side, but this back right. side, right. right, right in that corner. Okay. Yeah, that definitely needs to move forward. Okay. Take a little off the front of here, take your butt plate off. Let's see here. Need a pencil. You plug that in. I'll show you what a Kentucky flap sander looks okay. like. Okay. See how easy that is? When you wear this piece out, just tear it off and you got another piece ready to go. Okay, cool. I'll try that. Ethan is like I'm an expert or something, huh? <laughs> Disco like. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little spot right there. He's got, you know, he's got that fluted in the bottom here. Yep. So that's that bottom edge. Yeah. Cuts it right off with a with a flute. And you think he just cuts this back here, and then that just. Yep. Well, I think I think that's domed right. There. This line and this line is. Uh, if you're looking at that edge. This is the two piece edge. So he cuts this off here with a with a flute. Right okay. There. And then it looks like there's a flat part and he's got a he started with a V a V here and a V here. And then he's uh what he's done is this. And then it's probably got another flap that is there, so it's yeah. That actually goes like that. So it's a, cut the corner off with the flute. There's a little flat part, and then it's there's a, a V cut here and here, and then he's cut away this this area right in here to make a dome. I think that's all that's done. And 
And some of those guns, as well, what we've seen up on the wall there, they're really aggressively done. Like this glue comes way down into here. And the, the cheek piece is really broad on the front face, too. Cool stuff. Ha, ha, ha. This is the pencil. Yeah. Oh. Think that's deep enough? Yeah, it's deep enough. We got some cleaning up. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the hard part. Now. Yeah. That's... Uh, how kind of success do you have on the raising? I just drug it out. Okay. I just drug it I've out. got. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, I just drug it out. Yeah, the only issue I have with this is you got to be real careful that you don't nick your edge. Yeah. It'll ruin the day right away. Yeah, that. The, uh, after I left your house at one time, that's another another thing I went and bought. It. I never thought of doing it. I bought it gross. Handy as hell. How are you yeah. sharp? Yeah. Those little razor blade holders. I've yeah. never seen one like yeah. before. Yeah, well, you, they tell them to scrape glue stickers off and stuff. Um, but if you're not curious that the, the air, or careful, the edge of it will yeah. end up catch it and, and get yeah, it. Yeah, I've there. often thought that maybe I, I ought to round the edges on my razor blades. Yeah, I've had to, and then i got to go back and clean that up, because you know, that ends up being pretty deep. Yeah. So. You round your edge, well, then, then you can keep it. I don't know. I, I got, I've got no concrete answers. I don't think there well, is. You've got, you got to work whatever to do, or how it works that way. That's the front. That's got the front. That's, that's the front. <laughs> Bit. Life's good. She bit. Keep on rolling. Okay. Pull that frizz and fold. What now? Pull the frizz and fold. Now try your trigger. No, you got to try your trigger. What do you think? Pretty good. Ain't bad, is it? <laughs> That's how we get to smile every now and again. Here, I'll let you even point the damn thing. How you like that? Good. <laughs> She's damn near shooting now, man. You can shoot it. Okay, uh, we're going to put uh, trigger guard in it. So I want you to pull your lock bolts. Pull your lock out. Yeah. And we'll put the triggers, trigger guard in it. That's what I've been doing. I've been okay sawing on that, and then and it looks like it's resting onto the wood. Yeah, that's. Resting on the wood where? Oh, on the edges right here. Right. Yeah, it looks to me like it is. Oh. Okay. Also. Yeah, that's. You got. You got gaps on both sides. This is this is gonna have to come down. To. Uh, I got to keep on going. Take probably another sixteenth off. Thirty seconds. Probably sixteenth easy. You're probably gonna have to get. Uh, I'd say right into them well spots. Yeah. Okay. Try that first. All right, probably same one all Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got to need to be thinned down more. I'm surprised he didn't do castings on those. But that'll work. Yeah, see, this, is, this looks like it's touching right there, and it won't go down any deeper. That one's not, though. Maybe not. Yeah, you feel a rock there. Yeah, okay. And I'll do some more salt. Yeah, you, need, you need shorter caps. Um, I've tried to use the modification that's very, very limited. The, uh, we got round corners up in there. Not your radius ain't again. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, the king of radius. I see that. Yes, see that? I do. And then we're trying to put the square, yes, yes, we're trying to put a square box in there. So there's a solution. You either square up this corner or round off that corner. Round off. That's minimum. Yep. See, it goes that far. It just dead stops. You feel that? I do. I see it. And it's tight. And that goes Stop, dead stop, so that you're hitting. I'm gonna round that one. Okay, and don't be hitting your edges on no. here. So, uh, it's not mm -hmm. very genuine. I would, uh, I would clamp it in your, put some leather around it, clamp it in your vise so you can not have to hang on to this and you can yeah. have it clamped in here and then you can work with your tool. Yep. That way, everything's under control that way. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, well, the only thing that's hanging up is the corners on that, on that dovetail. That's it. Okay. 
Thank you. Well, that was perfect. <laughs> Doesn't it? We got, it's hitting. It, it may be hitting on this trigger. That button. ledge. That ledge right there. Yeah. Well, the two mate together. That'd be my guess. Yeah. So we'll take it apart. Or maybe the, the front, I think, is forced is the, uh, the what is it, What's that part called? Tang? That's, or that's a lug. Lug's lug too long? No, it didn't print down there anywhere. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, let me find my chisel and I'll, sure. I'll make it little... right. I think that'll allow so that should push the whole thing forward a little bit. Yeah, it'll allow it to, yeah. allow okay. it to come forward, I think. Yeah. You see, that's what I was just saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're a professional, Barry. Uh -huh. um, uh, that's it. Uh, for this class, it's going to be the Barry Geifel uh, class. Yeah, she'll have to hang your shingle out and yeah. start into business. Uh -huh. Well, it's better, but not fast. Okay. Same thing again? Yeah. Keep doing the same thing over and over until it. Either a complete disaster or reflected. This is where my now file this off flush with the barrel without hitting the barrel. Barrel for sure. No. Oh. <laughs> oh my. No. No. <laughs> okay. Now we need a countersink control. And I countersink the wood up in the barrel channel too. That is actually part of my uh, method as well. We got more in common than I ever. What do you use for the pen? He uses solder. Big I use soft solder. Yeah, believe it or not, I use a uh, piece of copper wire. Huh? That I rip out of the wall. Not for that. Some cool barrel out, dude. Yep. Knock all your, you knock all your pins out and. Uh, Might I'm be Wayne, traditional, I mean, is, is that how they work? <laughs> they just went on, they just or, went rogue. They just went on their own. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sure they did. They threw the Kimmler method. I've seen them go through the sides. I've seen them come down the top. I've seen them come in on the corners. Um, I've seen uh, them come in on the sides. I've seen them come in on the corners. I've seen them come in on the corners. I've seen them come in all kinds of non ferrous metal. I've even yeah. seen screws put in there. Are you okay in there? Had a pretty good day. We got these things put together. Gonna have to get cutty. <laughs> I'll send you a care package. How about this? Let's cut this up. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Counter sinky. Careful now. There you go. I'll set your barrel back in there. Put all your pins back in. Put the tank screws in. Do it all to go back from where you started. I never had the tank screw in to begin with. <laughs> That's a pretty simple way of doing that. That scares me. I'm right behind you.
you know, smaller round valve? Maybe not. Now we just wrap this with a little bit of sandpaper. Mm -hmm. That's a tight fitting thing, isn't it? Yeah. If you uh, disassemble this and throw all the parts in a box, you yeah. won't know which pipe to right. wear. So you want it to be So I, uh, I'll take a file. Yeah. This is the first pipe, so I'll make a, a hash mark. Okay. There's number one. That's, and that's, that's the, front. the forward edge. All right. Cool. There's number two. Now you always know where they That's go. Right. And which way is front? The front is in the front. Yep. Yep. 